Greetings, everybody. This is the continuation of the Wilderness and Survival series. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Revelation 12, people. One day, the, the woman's going to have to flee into the wilderness. And if you don't know it, uh, the woman is the bride of Christ, which is the church. Uh, today, we're going to cover a three different items. The uh, first item is you want a stainless steel uh, container, approximately one liter, one quart. Uh, you want a single wall. You do not want the insulated double wall. You do not want that. You want the single wall. Well, why is that, Bob? Oh, real simple. Let's say you got water from a source and you were unsure if uh, it was good or not. Well, guess what? The best way to sterilize water is to boil it. You don't need to boil it. Now, some places say, oh, you need to boil it for five minutes. That's not true. Once you get water up to a full boil, you know, where it's bubbling really strong, you know, one minute is sufficient. Matter of fact, once it gets to a full boil, uh, that's it. You know, because uh, you're talking 212 degrees plus, and basically all the pathogenic or disease-causing bacteria are dead once you get up to that uh, temperature. Now, the you've got a, uh, so a single wall stainless steel bottle, which you can use to boil water in. Or let's say you were in an urban environment and you didn't want to uh, start a fire. Well, then they got uh, either iodine or chlorine dioxide water purification tablets. They take generally about four hours to work. Uh, some people like those Nalgene uh, Lexan type plastic bottles. But I think the best thing is the stainless steel. Uh, then they got a little cup. Uh, I think the company is GSI. I got pictures of it. Uh, generally, you could take the cup, put it in, uh, put the bottle inside the cup so that it doesn't take up any extra room. And uh, then they've got a bottle holder, which is made out of uh, nylon. Make sure you get a strap. You could strap it around your neck. And, uh, and it's actually got a pocket on the front where you could put your, uh, that little uh, pocket uh, survival kit in. Uh, the ASC Best Glide Military Scout Pocket Survival Kit. Yeah. So uh, there's another item too. If you were in an urban environment and you were trying to get water, a really good place to get water is at shopping centers, schools, uh, buildings, public buildings like that. But, you know, the thing is, you look at the outside faucet, and they don't have a handle for the faucet. Well, how do you turn on a faucet that doesn't have a handle? Well, it's got a what's called a recessed handle, or, well, valve. Uh, so... They have a thing called a silcock key, a plumber's silcock key. I think it's spelled S-I-L-C-O-C-K. Let me look that up. I don't want to give you any bad info. Oh, I was wrong. S-I-L-L-C-O-C-K. Sometimes they call it a silcock key. Sometimes uh, it's called a, uh, a valve. Uh, it has different... Uh, they call it different things. Let's see, silcock key. Uh, they also call it a silcock plumbing or, uh, well, spigot. So uh, you can get one on Amazon. Matter of fact, all this stuff that I've been telling you, you can get on Amazon as much as I hate Amazon. Uh, but uh, the Nalgene stainless steel uh, liter bottle 
the cup, uh, the bottle holder. The bottle holder is by a company called Condor, C-O-N-D-O-R. Um, you can buy uh, Maxpedition, but honestly, I think Condor's products are just as good as Maxpedition and probably 60% of the cost. You're paying for the name, so uh, yeah. And then you can uh, uh, get this, wear it around your neck, you know, get a strap. Really, really handy to have. Uh, there's another thing, too. Um, let's see. Water purification tablets. Uh, there's a company called Aqua Tabs. Uh, there's basically two types of ways of using chemicals to purify the water. Um, they call it, uh, yeah, portable aqua. Uh, you can use either iodine or, which gives it a nasty taste, or you can use uh, chlorine dioxide. And no, it's not, it's really not really chlorine. Uh, let's see. Catadin also makes a uh, really good product. K-A-T-A-D-Y-N. Micropure. So look for chlorine dioxide. Uh, Amazon carries that thing too. Um, you know, <laughs> these things don't weigh anything. And uh, yeah, it's really... Uh, if you had a silcock key, you could uh, turn a spigot on at a public building that's, you know, closed or whatever. Get uh, fill up your thermos or your stainless steel bottle, and uh, throw a tablet in just in case, you know, because you never know uh, things go bad. But another really good thing too is uh, if you are looking at long term. There's another thing, too. There's a uh, company called Sawyer, S-A-W-Y-E-R. Uh, they have a water filtration system. Uh, it's about 20 bucks. It uh, uses, actually, uh, reverse osmosis membrane technology, which I'm very familiar with. And uh, it, that would last long term. Now, let's say you're using your... Um, stainless steel bottle to get water from a let's say a stream stream or a creek or a river what would be a good way to strain the junk out of it well how about coffee filters you know you put the coffee filter over the the, the wide mouth and dunk it in the water and then all those little pieces of twigs or whatever's in the water floating around doesn't go into your uh, bottle so, you know, that's something. And water filters, uh, coffee filters, I mean, you could buy what? 300 for a buck and a half or what? 200 for a dollar 50 or something like that, you know. Uh, and who says you couldn't use them more than once? So, I don't know. It's just something to think about. But Sawyer uh, mini water filter, um, really, really incredible. Uh, for what it is and uh, there's a company called Cobra that makes the uh, four-way silcock key that I was talking about uh, it's under five dollars believe it or not on Amazon yeah uh, really really uh, <laughs> yeah it's it's you know if you go to a like a school and you wanted to get some water you just turn the outside faucet on that has no handle, and boom, there you go. Fill up your uh, thing, and there's a good chance that the water will be uh, safe to drink as opposed to, uh, you know, a stream or whatever because you don't know what died upstream. You know, there could be a dead uh, deer or something in that stream. So, you know, it's just something to think about. Uh, you got to think short term and long term. So it's just something to, you know, consider. 
All righty, everybody. I hope that uh, you learned something. And uh, this will be, uh, we'll be doing more. All right. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen.